Hi, I'm Danny, and these are my diecast disasters. In this video, oh, we've got a little Tomica V Dub Beetle Cabriolet. And this is another car sent into me by Ken in America. So, once again, thanks, heaps, Ken. Some really cool little cars you sent in to work on. Uh, so, Tomica released this in 1977. Little convertible Beetle. Nice solid little die cast. Uh, interestingly, you can see it's held together with a screw there. So, I did, of course, wonder if it had been opened up before. Just have to change the end there because it's a Phillips head. Yeah, I wondered if it had been opened up before, but after looking online, it appears that no, they were in fact held together with a little screw. And that's all that's holding it together as well. Oddly, there's no tab at the front. Right, so there's the base off. The interior. Quite nicely detailed. All of this old Tomica stuff was generally pretty decent quality. Here's the windscreen. And that little post holding the roof on has been melted over there. So I'll use a drill very gently to remove that. Just needed a couple of slow turns. And now I can pop that off. So that roof part's looking a bit grubby there, but you can also see how there's paint over the hole uh, where the screw went in, so it doesn't look like it's been drilled out or anything. Uh, it's got a thin a steel plate for suspension and I'll just pop out those old wheels and axles right so there it is all taken apart now I'll use some paint stripper to strip the paint off of the body you can see the white primer they've used on there they usually you don't see primer on die-cast cars all that often. Uh, here it is once I've washed all the paint and stripper off. Looking pretty oxidized and grubby so I'll give it a further clean up with the wire brush on my Dremel. Get it all nice and clean and shiny. Quite a nice detailed casting. There it is after burnishing. Uh, right, so there's this horrible casting line over the front of the bonnet and the front guards. So I'm going to use this um, half round needle file to work that down carefully. Remember to try not to file away too much of the actual detail of the casting. Then I can smooth that off with some sandpaper. Also tidy up a couple of other areas that were a bit rough or had casting lines. And here is our little V-dub body all cleaned up and uh, ready for some paint. Pretty much. Alright, so I'll start out with uh, some black primer. And then I'm going to give this a colour change paint job using this Vallejo uh, Old Gold and Violet. So here it is after a couple of coats of that. You can see the colours shifting around there, sort of a greeny gold and that nice 
purpley violet. Next I used some masking tape to mask off the side panels and then I've hit them with a couple of coats of nice clean white and here's how that's looking after I've taken off the masking tape. So I think that white really pops against the color shift. I've added some details here, the rear lights, etc. Trimmings and stuff. Print out some new license plates on some normal A4 paper. And I can use a little bit of PVA glue to apply those. So I'm putting the rear one on there. And once that had fully dried, I finish this with a nice gloss clear. So I can put that aside and move on. Here are some wheels that I've 3D printed. These were from Thingiverse and they're V-Dub wheels. And I've printed them the same size as the original wheels were. So I'm going to clean those up, take the sprues off the back and then you can see they've got a large hole in them. So I used a piece of styrene tubing and then some um, brass rod to make some sort of smaller bearings to fit the axles I was going to use. Now yeah, I've painted them with some black and silver finished with a satin clear. So here's the interior and the roof. They're a little bit grubby particularly that roof. So I gave them a wash and some soapy water looking a bit cleaner. Um, now I'm going to give the roof a fresh coat of white to match the sides and I hit that with a satin varnish as well and the interior I'm going to do a tan because I thought uh, white would there'd just be a bit too much white and I also painted the sun visors on the body the same tan before I put the clear coat on and again this was just hit with some satin clear Right, here's the windscreen, looking pretty rough really, yellowed and scuffed. So I've got some 1200 grit sandpaper here, I'll give it all a decent sanding. And then I've got some plastic polish and I'll give it all a jolly good polishing with this polishing wheel on my Dremel. And this is how it came out and that's looking heaps better than it was originally. There's a couple of chips in it but I can't do much about those really. So that just leaves the base here. It's pretty heavily grubby and oxidized so it got a jolly good burnishing with the wire wheel. Here it is looking a heap cleaner. Uh, and then you can see those quite substantial uh, wheel posts to hold the wheels in place but the axle rod that I'm going to use is actually a little bit thick to go through the holes so I had to drill those out just a little bit larger and then I could fit the rod that I'm going to use for the axles in there nicely. So I cut out a couple of lengths of that and I've put the new wheels on there. I also glued a new license plate onto the front as well. Right now I'm going to put the roof back onto the body so that post just goes into the hole there. And 
And now I'm just going to use a tiny drop of glue just to stop that from falling off. And then I leave that for 10 minutes or so to fully dry. And I can continue assembling it. So there's the windscreen just pops in there like that. Then the interior this sort of slips over the roof section there and I can just pop the base in place and I've given the old grubby screw a good burnishing with a wire brush as well I'll just screw that back in and that's about that so before we go and take a look at our finished refurbished little Volkswagen Beetle let's just take a quick look back at what we started with here it is looking a jolly mess all scuffed and grubby the wheels looking a bit worn out there we're going to want to get this car back into a decent state so we can take it off to the beach for some fun and here it is uh, our finished, restored and customised little Tomica Volkswagen Beetle Cabriolet. Looking nice and tidy now with that cool colour shift paint job on it there. A uh, nice new clean roof and side panels and interior. You can see through the windscreen now. And of course some new genuine Volkswagen wheels. I think it's looking pretty cool ready for a cruise off on some coastal roads let me know what you think of it in the comments down below did you have one of these when you were a kid now before i go a shout out to my patreon thanks heaps for the continued support thanks to ken for the car and thanks heaps to you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to like and subscribe and stuff. Check the links below. Look, there's another angle of the color shift. So yeah, thanks heaps for watching. Take care and I'll catch you in the next one.